Hey y'all, it's Andrew Reed with Mossy Creek Mushrooms, and today I just wanted to do a quick uh, video on one of my favorite pastimes, which is smoking mushrooms. And no, I don't mean psychedelic mushrooms or smoking weirdness or anything like that. I mean like smoking meats or anything else. Um, I like to do this outside. I, I've gone outside and I have prepared my fire pit, started the fire. Uh, then I have my smoker cleaned out and pretty soon we'll be putting the coals in that but I like to take the time while the fire is building the coals are building to go ahead and prepare the mushrooms so for today I'm smoking a brand new strain that we are just starting to sell it's called the Deritter Oyster after a man named Dan Deritter who found it in the wild I cloned it for him and now or really I guess he brought it to me for me to clone but now I'm going to go pick it it's right down here and uh, we're going to try smoking it for the first time and see what it's like cooked. So here we go. So as you guys can see, it's actually a fairly pretty oyster for, for being a wild oyster. Um, I've noticed that it's got a little bit of these moisture marks where the uh, humidity started hitting it. And it's it's gotten a little bit of damage from our new ventilation system where I had the air turned up. It's got some brown on the edges there. But other than that, this oyster actually reminds me a lot of an elm, um, except it feels a bit meatier. And, uh, I mean, look at that. That is just a nice sized cluster growing on the master's mix. So, uh, how about we, we pick this and we take it upstairs and get it prepped for the smoker. Wow, that thing's got some roots. That doesn't want to come off the block. Woo! Man, that's beautiful. All right, y'all. So first we start with the aluminum foil boat. Because we hear like everything to do with water. Everything is gets called boats. That can possibly be called a boat. There's the beginning. We take our Deritter Oyster and set her right in the center there. And we'll start folding up the sides, like so. And I forgot a crucial piece, which is the crossways section of aluminum foil. There we go, that is the beginning of our boat. And I'll be right back with the aluminum, or with the uh, oil. Alright, so here we are. And I just have some extra virgin olive oil. And I just kind of glug that around. I'm not very careful. The wife will murder me later. But, that is life. Alright, now we add our seasonings, and I like to season my smoked mushrooms very well. So, plenty of garlic powder. Celery seed. And I am not a professional cook, or chef, or anything. This is just how I like my mushrooms. Turmeric, always have to have turmeric. It's what turns our food that nice radioactive green. So that we look like we're a bunch of mutants. Dill weed. And honestly guys, I like this a lot better with butter, but I'm out of butter. And normally what I do with butter is I just cut a bunch of squares and lay it on top. And then black pepper and I do not pinch this I mean I pinch this I pinch that I do not measure anything when I do this so it all just takes a bit of practice so there we go
And you don't even really want this to be that thick. You just want to be able to cover your mushrooms because mushrooms dry out and smoke really quickly. And I like to make sure that they cook for a long time and get really tender. So after that, poke a couple of holes. And now the boat is ready for the smoker. So for all of you non-vegetarians like myself, something that you can do to add a little flavor to your mushrooms is to add a sausage or two to the mix. Just like so. And pose it back up. And all of those drippings will be caught in our little dragon boat we built here for our mushroom funeral send-off. still chewy, still meaty, still so smoky. And that's what I love about mushrooms. It doesn't take very long, about an hour and a half to two hours. You put it in some aluminum foil, you cut, uh, cook it uh, with a pretty heavy smoke, just a couple holes in the aluminum foil, and it just really, oh my goodness, I want another bite. Um, <laughs> it just really, really makes it to where they, they, they're so smoky, even with just a tiny little of the smoke being able to get in there, they absorb whatever they're cooked in, that olive oil, the turmeric, and the black pepper, it's spicy, kind of sweet, meaty. I mean, it's just everything that you want. Oh, you know what? I know I told you guys I would give you the non-vegetarian option Ooh, ooh, it's hot. There we go. A little bit of sausage, a little bit of mushroom. Still pink on the outside from the the smoke ring. Gray on the inside where you know it's cooked all the way through. Just absolutely superbly cooked. Mm. Those two together. I'm gonna cut all of this up. Put it in some Tupperware and use it all week for lunch. And with that, guys, keep spawning culture, y'all.